Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Stay. This is Coloring Bliss, and today we're going to talk about a cool storage solution organization system here that I've been trying out and testing so that I could tell you about it. I'm excited. But first I want to tell you that at the end of this video, we're going to give you an update on how Rose is doing. She's actually sitting right there, <laughs> but we had to move her. She's usually over here, but I have this amazing stuff to show you. So let's get started talking about everything Mary. So I've decided that I suffer from another art syndrome that I need to share with you. <laughs> Not just FSS, which is full set syndrome, but I have a new syndrome that I'm suffering from. Well, I think I've been suffering from this for years. <laughs> I'm calling it ASA, Art Supply Separation Anxiety. <laughs> A-S-S-A. <laughs> -S -S -A. So I think that a lot of us suffer from this and let me tell you how it feels. You're packing up to go maybe to your mom's house to do some coloring, your sister's house or a neighbor, or maybe you're going on a little trip and you need to bring some art supplies, but you just can't bear to leave certain art supplies home. It literally gives me anxiety. What if I need that art supply? What if I'm in the middle of a coloring page and I need my Jelly Roll gel pens? <laughs> they have to come with me. It creates real serious anxiety. <laughs> Uh, I know this is a problem um, because anytime I pack art supplies, I end up bringing bins and bins of art supplies with me. <laughs> and so I've been searching for a, like a more portable bag type system that would make it easier for me to bring my art supplies with me whenever I go somewhere. So this is what I've been testing out. And I want to tell you that we are not sponsored. I did all my own research on Amazon and on HSN because everything Mary is sold on HSN and they actually had better information about this system than Amazon did. So that's where I got a lot of my information before I bit the bullet and bought this system right here. Altogether, this cost me about $125 right now on um, Amazon. This is June, right? June 2022. The system right here is being sold for $140. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited to show you. It's a two-part system here, and it was originally designed for scrapbookers, but it's working really good for me. I'm going to tell you the things I like about it and the things I don't like about it, but let me start by showing you how they work as a team together. All right, so this one back here, the big boy, he's a rolling cart so you can pull up this just like a rolling suitcase it has a handle there it goes up one more click beyond that so it makes it really easy to move around the wheels on the bottom work really well um, the more you load it up the heavier it gets the little trickier it becomes to roll it around we'll talk about moving the system around here in a minute this guy right here works with that and it has one of those loops on the back right here so you can slide it right over the handle up here and then they move together as one which is really nice except if you're me and you put way too much stuff into both of them <laughs> and then you only can roll it on flat things going down and upstairs no you have to lift the system because it just doesn't do stairs well one thing that sold me on this system is that both of these units here can hold a standard 12 by 12 paper storage container so something like this so I have inside of both of these, three of these plus a narrow one. I'm gonna open them up and show you everything I've stuffed into here. But this was so cool to me because what I find is that as I'm trying to organize things, I like to keep my papers nice and flat. If I'm putting coloring books in, I want them to be protected. I wanna be able to sort maybe by media type. So this could be like a watercolor container and another one could be for coloring and another one for drawing, that kind of thing. It works really good for that. So that was one thing that sold me immediately. Now I also liked that when you get to where you're going to be doing art, you can sort of set this up and work out of the bag. So you don't have to unload everything and then you can do your art. You can just work straight out of the bag. So let me show you the back one first. Now originally, 
I was just going to buy this one, but the two work together so well, I had to buy the two. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. Of course I did. So let me show you the sides first really quick. There's a side pocket over here that opens sort of accordion. Uh, maybe we can show this straight down. There. So it opens up accordion and you can put all kinds of things in here. I've got this little guy right here. I've got some wet wipes in this pocket here. Let me rotate it now so you can see, or actually maybe I can just slide. Yeah, okay. This is really awkward, <laughs> but it's gonna work. So this side pocket, I really like, and it's got little loops for pencils, pens, and markers. Hopefully you can hear me, the microphone is. <laughs> but for me right now, what I wanted to store in it was just some more stencils and things like that that I'm working with for some art I'm doing. By the way, the zippers, they work so good on this system. Okay. I think this is the biggest thing I've ever shown up on here on yeah, my desk. Yeah, cameras aren't quite set up for <laughs> so, it. So, sorry for the awkwardness. This little front pocket here is amazing. Now, one thing I hate about some systems out there is that they make like a ton of teeny tiny little pockets and they forget the big pockets. And this has a good variety of both sizes. So let me show you, maybe I can do this again. I've got this really big pocket that all I put in here right now is a pair of scissors. I've got some water. I've got my tape. I've got a little pencil sharpener and some paper towel. So this was sort of my quick access pocket of things that I'm using all the time in all different kinds of art. And then they have this amazing little secret pocket. It's not really secret, but I kind of feel like it is. <laughs> right here, again, they didn't forget the really long pockets that we need for things like rulers. So that fits right there perfectly. Now, for the good part, you open up right here. Let me turn it so you can see. They have a zipper that goes this direction and they have a zipper that goes this direction. So let's start with the top zippers. All right, I'm blocking one of our big lights so it's, it's like a dark right here right now, but that's okay. So this whole thing swings up and we have more pockets, two small ones and then my beloved big pockets that will hold almost anything. And then it comes with this little Velcro strap that now, I'm gonna stand up for this, you can bring this around behind and use that handle for rolling. And it Velcros like that. And it stays up so you can access everything here and then get into your main stuff and your side pockets and your quick access. And if you want to, which I never used it this way, Maybe you would if you were doing a different kind of art. You can zip this down and it opens up so you can really access everything in here. But I kept it up like this while I was doing my art. Okay, so in here you can see how I used my giant paper, my paper containers. The, these are the 12 by 12 ones. And this box here, I have a whole bunch of stuff that inspires me for art. Things to draw, things to work on. So I've got graph paper and reference books and things like that inside this one, all nice and neat. And then I have a second one. <laughs> this one I wanted to keep all my coloring books, my papers. Um, this has also a palette in it for painting and water color paper so anything that I didn't want to get dinged or messed up all in here amazing and it has this little divider back here that you can move there's velcro along both sides and so you can move it to the different depth that you want so I could put a big bin in the back or I could um, take it out totally if it's just not helping me but I used it to hold this one it's another 12 by 12 this is a, they call it an eight and a half by 11 and I kept some finished art pieces in here some more paper just things I wanted to stay protected and I've got just all kinds of things would fit in here. This is my um, cutting board that I use to tape all my art to it so that it can be portable but still hold steady when it's getting water put on it. I've got a whole set of paint brushes that I was able to bring with me in here. 
I've got some awesome gel crayons. These are just cheap kids ones that works great. I've got workable fixative, so if I need to fix something. And then I did a video, I don't know how many weeks ago it was now, where I showed, I think it was five different pencil cases that I purchased from Amazon and reviewed for you. So that's in here. This one is filled with pens. This is my pen case, so for inking things and adding a little pizzazz to things that case fit right in there. So this rolling case, I love. I was able to sit it up right next to me by my table where I could reach in and grab things. And like I said, the key to this system that really appeals to me is I don't have to unpack everything in order to do just a quick piece of art. But let me show you what I have in the second piece of this system. So this is the second piece, and it's made to be a little easier to carry around. It comes with a nice little handle like this that goes over your shoulder, and then two handles like this, so you can carry it really easy. Let's take a look in the pockets here. This first pocket, again, is just a nice, big open space so that I can put whatever I want. In here I've got my little pencil case full of washi tape that I like to carry around. And then you can see on the sides, the way they've built this zipper right here is really quite brilliant. So let me show you as I unzip. Again, really good zippers, I've been so impressed. Oh, I forgot this pocket right here. Another big long pocket and I believe it's just a nice big empty space. Yep, and I put more washi tape in here. This is a brand new roll I bought that I haven't used much. Okay, so this top zipper opens up across the top and then towards the front and then it folds down and out of the way. And like I said earlier, you can put one of these big um, paper cases in here if you want to, to hold a bunch of different things in a more protected manner because this is all soft material here. But what I used this bag for was for all the other little pencil cases. These are all the cases you saw me um, review back in that, that past video. I'll put a link to it in the video description so that you can check it out if you're interested in these cases. So they're all in here with different things. I believe this is gel pens. Yeah, a whole bunch of different gel pens. I've got this one here, which has pencils and different drawing equipment in here. I've got this one, which has a watercolor palette, a watercolor cup, and some water brushes all in here. Works great. This is my all things white. So I've got white markers, white gel pens, white color pencils, all in this one right here. I've got another pencil case here. This one's just a cheap one that I like to buy anytime it's back to school time. And this has got some tubes of gouache and watercolor. And then I've got this one right here, which has all my solvents and things I use to make my art material do what I want it to do. Keep that separate in case it spills. And then I was able to fit an entire big pencil case in here. And this pencil case has um, markers in it, um, my Prismacolors in it, pencils and other marking pens all inside this case. So it gave me a really good variety of art supplies to work with. So that was fantastic. Can you believe I fit all of this in this bag? It's the total thing I needed. I needed something to hold every kind of art supply that I might possibly need and hold it in such a way that I could quickly and easily access it without unpacking everything every time. So, you can see why I like it, why it works really good. I bought mine in the Heather Gray. They did have a few other options on Amazon. If you are an HSN customer, I believe they have even more color options on HSN, but I don't shop there. So all I got was, I really like the Heather Gray. I think it's really pretty. So does it solve my ASSA problems, my ASSA problems? <laughs> it does. I'm able to bring everything I want, at least a little bit of everything. It's not everything in my art studio, but that would be ridiculous. 
ridiculous. <laughs> but I am able to bring a little bit of every different type of art supply so that I feel like I am prepared for any art situation. So that makes me very happy. There are things about the system that I am not a fan of. One is the high price. Together, this was around 150 bucks to buy the two together. That was a really big investment and I was really nervous about it because I don't wanna buy something like this and then not use it. Just gonna fill up my closet with empty containers. But that hasn't been the case. In fact, what I've done is loaded it like you see and then just leave it that way. And it just sits here in my art studio, right close to where I'm working here in case I need something out of it. But if I decide to go to my sister's house to do some art with her, her kids or something, I can just grab the two and go. And I know I have everything in there that I need. That's amazing to me. <laughs> so I don't have to have any ASA anxiety. <laughs> I know it's all there. Now, what I don't like about it, when this system is open like this with that back, um, this top thing up like that, it feels like they're now two separate things where when it's down and I have this looped over the handle, it feels like one system. And when I purchased it, I was secretly hoping that I could just stack them and I don't know, I guess I imagined this being able to open and have this up there too so I could keep them together as one unit and use them as one when I wanted to, but it doesn't work that way. So when I was sitting, I had this next to me open like this and then I had this on the floor next to me where I could reach in and grab any little set of tools that I needed. So it works that way but it doesn't work perfectly as a one unit which I don't know how you would fix that. The other problem I'm having with the system is that it holds a lot <laughs> and so I do overfill it. The first time I filled it it was too heavy. I couldn't lift just this and so I had to go back and take out a bunch of stuff and and rethink what I wanted in my system so that's one problem is that it is so big that you can overfill it and it becomes a burden and maybe you won't feel like moving it around with you because it's so big and you won't feel like asking your husband to haul it because it's so heavy so that's one thing I didn't like about it Again, one thing is that the wheels, when I have it fully loaded like this and this set on top and I'm trying to move it from one room to the next, the wheels feel steady, but not, not like I feel like I could take it down some stairs without hurting everything in the bag and possibly hurt the bag. So that's one negative about the system working together. Another one is when you have just this here, and you're moving it around, sometimes you do have to lift it up, like I had to lift it up and set it on a chair next to me. And to lift it up, what they've given you are these side handles, and they are very securely sewn on, so I don't have an issue with that. But it does feel like, if you can see when I try to lift it, it feels like eventually this could tear because I have so much stuff in it. And honestly, I think the manufacturer, they, they should know that we're going to be overloading these bags. <laughs> it's just what we do, right? So I wish this was constructed differently somehow where it's not just attached to just fabric here because we're lifting a lot of weight and I don't want my really expensive bag to break. But I think that's the only things I didn't like about it. And it all has to do with me overfilling the bag. <laughs> so that's not too shabby. If that's the only thing that I'm, I'm being nitpicky about, I think it was worth the investment. So would I have you go out and buy one of these? If you're like me and you suffer from ASA, <laughs> It's kind of a bad name, isn't it? But I think that's why I like it. <laughs> Art supply separation anxiety. If you suffer as I do, you need a system that you can take things around with you and you know it's all packed correctly, safely. And this system does that for kind of a high price. But, you know, our the art supplies I have in here way out when you add up the value of all these supplies is way more than $150. So I think there's a way to justify 
having your supplies in a safe environment to protect that investment, and you'll actually use it. And that's what was cool about this to me is, again, I didn't have to unload everything like I used to in the big plastic bins. You open up your bin, you have to pull everything out to get to the bottom thing, which is always the thing you want, right? That's not the case here. Everything is organized, quick access, different size pockets to accommodate different kinds of equipment. I think it's really well thought out. So yeah, if you've got 150 bucks that you need to spend on an organization system to solve your ASA problem, <laughs> this might be it. So I'm going to put links to it in the video description. Remember, I'm not sponsored. I bought all this with my own money and I did all my own research and now I can pass it on to you as something that I would recommend that you invest in. Now that we're done talking about this system, I want to share with you how Little Rose is doing. So let's get her up here and talk about Sweet Little Rose. All right, at the beginning of this video, I promised you a Rose update. So here she is, and I wanna let you know she's doing amazing. We took her for her final follow-up appointment with her surgeon, and they were so pleased with her progress. They did wanna warn us that her progress, where it's at right now, may be as good as it gets, but she could still improve. So they encouraged us to give her two more weeks of restriction of her movement no running jumping all that good stuff and then at the end of those two weeks we get to start letting her be a little more free and a little more herself but I do want to report that just a couple days ago I put her down on the grass and she took off in a sprint and it was like the first sprint I've seen her do and her back paws were both moving but they were sort of moving together in the sprint it was so <laughs> adorable and I had to stop her because we're restricting movement still, but she's doing so good. And we want to say thank you to all of you for the really sweet messages and kind thoughts and prayers that you've been sharing. It's helped us so much and we are so grateful that Sweet Rose is doing so good. So on that note, I want to tell you to go out, get some art done and have a wonderful, colorful, blissful day. Bye-bye everyone.